Hey guys, can you see this big mess here behind me? Everything I got is just scattered everywhere. So when I, after we first built this pole barn, I decided to move all my tools out here so I could use this nice new pole barn, right? Well, the problem is, is there's no place for the tools. So they end up scattered everywhere. They're in totes, they're in buckets, they're scattered down this wall here. Um, I got a rolling workbench down there. It's just covered with tools and I've got no organization in here whatsoever. And I go to work on something, I can't find my tool. I end up spending, I could spend 10, 15 minutes trying to find the tool that I'm looking for. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get that solved today. So we're gonna do some tool organization today. See if we can get all these tools organized. See if we can do a little bit of garage organization and get everything where it has its own place. And then hopefully I, when I need a tool, I can actually find it. All right, guys, let me show you my big mess. All the tools we need to get organized today. I mean, we've got, we got socket sets, hammers. We've got channel locks, more socket sets, wrenches, pipe wrenches. I mean, we've got everything. We've got tools in that tote, tools in this tote. Uh, we've got router bits, drill bits. We've got a bunch of stuff for wiring electrical stuff here. Um, man, we've got toolboxes along the side here. We got bolt bins, probably gonna come up with something for these. I'm not sure what to do with the bolt bins, but we've got more toolboxes and tool cases back here. Got buckets that are full of screws and nails. Um, we've got all these tools that are down in that tote right there that need something dealt with. And then here is the workbench that is totally covered full of stuff. I mean, all things imaginable end up collecting on this workbench and we're gonna have to try to get this all organized. So I bought this tool cart probably two months ago and I've got tools inside of the drawers. I can roll it around to wherever I'm working. It gives me a nice little mobile work surface to work off of. But you can see I still got tools strung all over this pole barn, right? So I ended up buying a bigger toolbox and that's what this is in here. And I'm hoping to get the rest of the tools stored away in this toolbox. I also bought some toolbox organizers so that I can help organize the drawers so that all the tools are hopefully nice and neat when we're done today. And then for the bigger things like the coolers, the totes, the buckets, the toolboxes, the small toolboxes, I've got some shelves. We're gonna try to put some shelves down this wall today and get all that stuff stored away. And hopefully everything will be nice and neat or at least look a lot better when we're done. It looks like it includes rubber mats, drawer liners to put in the drawers. The tool cart didn't come with those. This toolbox is pretty heavy. Oh, but I gotta get the wheels. I gotta get the wheels on the bottom. Oh, I got a piece of foam on the ground to put it on. And no, I didn't read the directions. But if it's like the tool cart, then these swivel wheels go on the side of the handle. Well, I got the instructions out and it said I was actually supposed to roll it onto its back to put the wheels on. So we're gonna try rolling it backwards. Well, I ended up being short two bolts for the casters. But I ended up stripping out one of the holes and then this hole right here, I couldn't get a bolt to start. So I guess I didn't need them anyway. Let's see if we can lift this back up. All right, we'll get our battery chargers off the floor. Get those up here. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna maximize the amount of space on this tool cart. So I bought some of these magnetic holders. 
And this one is going to hold spray cans for me. It's also going to hold screwdrivers. I think I'm going to like this because it's going to help keep my drawers a little less cluttered. So. So on this side below the handle, we'll put those. This is to hold your paper towels. So you always need paper towels, I think. Now this works fairly well as long as you're pulling outward, but if you push down on it, they'll pop off. So you kind of got to make sure you pull your paper towels out off, you know, outward. So on the back of the tool cart, I was going to put these trays so I could hold stuff. And this little bitty tray, I'll tell you right now, it's a joke. It doesn't have enough magnetic power on it. Um, just the vibration of the drill will cause this thing to walk down the toolbox. So this one is no good. Now what really disappointed me about this one, I really was hoping that I could fit my box of gloves in there and it doesn't quite fit, but it'll work. So I've got the drawers cleaned out now. So we're gonna try some of these drawer organizers and see if we can fit more tools in here and make it a little bit neater. So this here is something to organize pliers, but the way it's designed, I think I can put more than just pliers in here. So, seems to hold them up pretty good. So here's a small pair of vice grips, a little bigger pair of vice grips. How about a crescent wrench? Yep. Seems to work pretty good. How about channel locks? Never can have too many channel locks. Well, that looks fairly good. Definitely need a pair of scissors. I definitely need a razor blade. What else would fit in this drawer? Putty knife? I think putty knife would be handy. That looks pretty good. So I'm rearranging my drawer here, trying to maximize space. So I've got, these are those Hanson socket trays. I'll put those on each side here. So then all my standard stuff's over here, all my metric stuff's on this side. Put some punches in there. And then I guess we'll leave the rest of the screwdrivers in here as well, all the small ones. All right. So this is another thing that I bought. It's to hold these bits for your impact driver or for your drill. So I think I'll put that in this drawer and it also magnetizes in place so it doesn't move. Well, I think I got the tool cart set up the way I like it. So now it's time to go around the garage here, see if I can find all my tools, start filling up that our toolbox. So I think I've got most of my loose tools picked up. So in here I've got my hammers, measuring tapes, I've got sockets in here, I've got my torque wrenches in here. So this drawer, I'll probably fill up a little bit more with more screwdrivers and wrenches. This drawer is kind of a half of its drill bits and half of its pipe wrenches. This one's kind of a catch-all right now. Just a little bit of miscellaneous stuff. I've got all my power tools down here in these bottom two drawers, or at least a majority of them. This is metric wrenches and impact sockets. And then that's standard wrenches and impact sockets. And then this is gonna be like all cutting tools or cutters, I think I'm gonna put in there. So in this drawer to hold my sockets, I'm using the socket boss trays. And the way these are set up is there's, uh, there's one row for quarter inch, there's a row for three eighths inch sockets, and then a row for half inch. And I've, I've got these kind of color coded. So I've got blue for metric, red for standard or English. And then uh, the way these work is you just do a, like a twist and the socket pops right off of there. So they just kind of twist lock on there. So I do like these socket trays. They're pretty easy to, to mess with. And uh, I, am, I do have some of these individual 
uh, socket holder strips like this that I'm using to hold my impact sockets down in the other drawers. So now that I've picked up all the loose tools and I've got them put in the toolboxes, you can see I've still got a ton of stuff laying here on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these shelving units together. So I've got two shelving units, but I'm gonna put them together in a way that it ends up being three shelving units long. So hopefully that'll end up to be plenty of storage space. So I've got my shelving unit all built now, and you can see how I, I basically ended up with three shelving units out of the two. So these would originally had a bottom shelf right next to the floor. And I figured to myself, why do I need a bottom shelf? I can just slide everything onto the concrete because everything I got here is sitting on concrete anyway, right? So I've taken those bottom shelves off and I've used them to span between there. That tied everything together. So it's made that a lot more rigid I've got more storage space. So I really did hate to block this window, um, but I don't feel like this top shelf is blocking it, but just a few inches. And as long as, long as I don't stack anything up too high on here, I think I'm still gonna have um, you know, good visibility through the window and plenty of light shining through. So this style of shelving unit is fairly modular and they do make like extra shelves you can put in here. They make add-on kits where you can add extra shelves to the side, but the problem is you never find those in the store. You can't find those to buy them. Um, it seems like you only find the whole shelving units. So this was kind of my way around it to be able to take two complete units and end up with three. And I definitely got more storage space. So I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna start grabbing all this stuff and start getting it on the shelves and hopefully this place will look pretty good afterwards. So I got most of the stuff that was on the floor over here on these shelves. So I went ahead, I had some other toolboxes and I went ahead and put that on the shelf in front of the window. That way I could still open these up and get into them if I needed to. And it still allowed, you know, light to go through the window, not block it. So down here I've got my buckets. I've got bucket organizers. I don't know if you guys use these, but I basically got these trays in here. This is my electrical bucket and it's got pretty much most of the stuff that I use when I do electrical. And then this bucket right here, this is full of screws. It's got trays like this full of screws and that one has uh, nails. That one's full of nails. So definitely use the bucket organizers. I think they do come in fairly handy to be able to grab something and go. So these two toolboxes I ended up buying from Home Depot. And the main reason I ended up choosing these toolboxes over other places is because it had a wooden top. Um, I really wanted it to double as a toolbox and to be able to use it as a workbench. So that's the reason why I ended up buying these. And um, the things, the one thing that I do like about this one is that it came with the rubber liners for the drawers. I've never had that before. And those are actually, that's kind of nice to have those because that keeps everything quiet. It keeps your tools from sliding in the drawer. Uh, so I do like the rubber liners. Definitely look at buying some more of those. Maybe get some for this cart over here. Now the cart itself, I think that this is going to work out fairly well for most everyday tasks, being able to have a mobile work surface. But on this toolbox here, the thing I don't like are these, this row right here, these three rows of the narrow drawers. 
In my opinion, they're too narrow. You can't stand a socket set like standing on end. You can't put like a rubber mallet in there. You're kind of limited on what you can put in there. And like over here in the tool cart, I had this organizer that held, you know, my pliers, my crescent wrenches, my channel locks straight up and down. Um, I like that organizer, honestly. And um, that will not fit in one of these narrow drawers down here. So I think if I was to buy a toolbox in the future, I'd definitely look for maybe closer to a three and a half to four inch tall drawer. I think you'll have more flexibility on what you could fit in there. But overall, I think I've got everything organized enough to at least be more efficient when I work out here. And any of this stuff that I ended up using to help organize these toolboxes, I will try to put a link in the description below so you can kind of see them. I didn't really go through some of these things in detail, but uh, I'm pretty happy with, with uh, I've got a couple different types of socket organizers and I think they work out fairly well. And uh, the more I use it, I'll find out. But I think this is definitely gonna help me be organized. I've kind of made a commitment to that now that I've got this new pole barn, that I'm going to be organized and I'm going to get organized and stay organized. And hopefully these things will help me uh, achieve that a little bit. So I know a lot of it's a lot, um, what do you call it? A lot of it's me being messy, right? But hopefully I can get organized, stay organized, and uh, everything will go a lot smoother when I come out here to work. But anyway, I think that's it for today, guys. I still got a few boxes and stuff over here. I need to load in the truck. And then uh, the whole, then the front part of the garage is all cleaned up. So anyway, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.